So you guys want to learn more about the great city of Grapevine? Well, in this video, we're going to take a whole tour throughout the city. I'm going to be sharing with you guys some information, showing you guys some hotspots and discussing why it's actually so popular. Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, my name is Shansa and this is the Life in Dallas channel where we talk about all things living in the Dallas metro and your girl here is a real estate agent so if you guys have any buying and selling needs or if you guys have any questions about the area or anything, you can definitely reach out to me through my contacts below. They're going to be in the description box. Don't hesitate to reach out you guys. I am more than happy to help you guys. So Grapevine is located in Tarrant County. It is conveniently located between Fort Worth and Dallas. It takes about like 25 minutes to get to Fort Worth from Grapevine and then it takes like 20 minutes to get to downtown Dallas. And you're near the Dallas Fort Worth airport and then the transportation within the city you guys look at all these highways that run throughout the city you have highway 121 you have highway 114 you have highway 360 that run all throughout here so getting around is pretty dang easy here and here you guys the median home value is around 420,000 the median income is around 117,000 and the population is around 60,000 so great Band is known for its annual Great Fest, which is the world's largest consumer judged wine competition with over 1400 events through the span of like 40 days so people from all over the suburbs all over the state come to this wine fest you guys and it's just it's just a whole culture and it's also the Christmas capital of Texas let me tell you Grapevine knows how to put on a show you guys all around us from Plano from Frisco to McKinney from the Fort Worth side they all come to Grapevine especially during the holidays because the the events immaculate the decoration immaculate the hospitality immaculate like the arts the shows that they have like it's just when they have the parades like it's just is very well put together all the events and everything you guys I feel like Grapevine is like a resort city people go to have fun and like take a break and relax so imagine if you're living there like some people love living in areas that are just happening let's start with the historic district of grapevine it's the most vibrant history hitch walkable and eventful downtown around the area it has preserved historic areas and structures it's home to winery tasting rooms they have live entertainment such as music they have theater they have one-of-a-kind shops they have art galleries and a tons of good eateries okay they have other shops there as well a plethora of shops they have antiques there as well now you also have the grapevine vintage railroad here that offers more than just like the standard train rides throughout the year they have like different types of train rides like special events including like the adult only like jazz wine train or they have like an annual like family favorite the north pole express have the glockenspiel tower which is a nice area to go and explore they have a really nice interior design in there they also have this like little um robot uh, gun robbery play that they do um it's very kid friendly so don't be alarmed because of that then they have the grapevine main which is literally like a 114 million dollar public private sector is transit oriented with a you know, huge rail system that consists of like european style uh food halls in there they have several globally inspired kitchens they have indoor and outdoor entertainment event venue they have a 38,000 square foot expansive outdoor plaza they have this huge observation tower with a 360 degree view of the city downtown is booming a really nice place to take a stroll really nice place to learn some history so um, that's amazing there's several shops in there that have been running for like years and years and then we have the Gaylord Texan Resort and Convention center and then here you guys there's huge several acre water park that they uh, recently made and they have restaurants here bars they have family friendly activities and entertainment we have like spas um, atriums they have four award-winning restaurants 
lakeside event venues have like live music there as well and the conventional center during the holidays you guys this area is on fire everyone and their mom is here to enjoy the light shows that they have just a very jolly good experience that they have here and grapevine is conveniently located near the grapevine lake now this lake is an 8,000 acre lake with more than 19 miles of wilderness trails. They have they have family friendly campgrounds. They have several access points and parks here. It's fit for swimming, boating, jet skiing, relaxing, and just so many more things that you guys can do here. The one that I shot this footage from was the Lakeview Park, which it was just one of the access points and parks around the lake. And you know, here they have like a pavilions, park for the kids, a really nice area, really nice views here. So that's one great thing is just right next to the lake. And let's not forget about the golf lovers. They have three golf courses here that are ranked in the top UC public gold courses. They have the Grapevine uh, Golf Course, which is one of the most popular around here. It's highly ranked for its hospitality. It's well-maintained 24 hole golf course. They added several more competitive holes as well, which a lot of people enjoyed. And then you also have like the clubhouse, which includes like the golf shop. You also have the Persimmons Bar and Grill Restaurant, which by the way is phenomenal, okay? It's just, Oh my god that food is delicious and let me tell you that i was actually looking it up and it's rated a 4.9 i've never seen a restaurant rated that high in my life ever the most i've seen is like a 4.6 so i mean that really tells you something and you literally have the lake right on the other side right there and aside from those things grapevine has like 67 miles of paved and natural trails for hikers and bikers they have parks sports fields and many activities for people that love doing outdoor things tons of outdoor activities that you and your kids can enjoy and speaking of kids they have the great wolf lodge there's only one in all of texas here they have an indoor water park resort they have arcade games restaurants spas events and so much more it's a really nice getaway without actually getting away you know and then like my sister takes her kids here like about once a year or so um, a nice getaway for them the three daughters just absolutely love the water park kids plus water slides the happiest kids ever a couple minutes away from here you have like the aquarium you have legoland which is in the grapevine mall and this is a huge mall you guys and it has like an amc dine-in theater escape rooms they have like neiman marcus they have i always say neiman marcus because i like it <laughs> they have over 180 shops here you guys with restaurants for example this restaurant Restaurant, Rainforest Cafe, which is like a restaurant and a shop. Really cool place to a restaurant and a shop. Really cool place. Log Highway 144, you have several restaurants and shops. And then you have like main event here as well, which is basically like arcade slash bowling. You know, like laser tag, I believe. A lot of main events have laser tag. So I'm guessing there's laser tag in there. Uh, they serve drinks there as well. They serve food. Also around here, you have like Costco uh, dealerships. You have like the steakhouses, uh, barbecue places. They also have the Crush It Sports Lounge, which is basically like an interactive sports place. I mean, really nice if you like sports and video games. More over there, okay. This is where you're gonna find a lot of um, things to do as well. Now the school district in Grapevine is actually the Grapevine slash uh, colleague Coleyville, which is the number two best school district in all of Tarrant County. The so Grapevines district actually comes in at number seven. Frisco is also on the list at number five in the Dallas slash Fort Worth area. And we all know people love Frisco ISD, but yeah, definitely Grapevine and Coleyville ISD made it to the top 10 school district in the whole Dallas Fort Worth area, which is great. 13 of the top 17 school districts in Texas are located in the Dallas Fort Worth metro. And this is all according to niche.com. So if you're somebody who prioritizes good education system for your children, Dallas-Fort Worth area is definitely an area worth checking out. By the way, you guys, if you guys are liking this content, then please make sure to hit the like and hit the subscribe if you guys want more content like this. It really helps me and it motivates me to make more content for you guys. So I really appreciate it. Now let's take a look at some of Grapevine's communities. we have is lake point which is a newer community um this has several amenities like pavilions a marina um, various sport courts um it has trails along this neighborhood um and one of the trails actually leads to the oak grove park which is one of the largest parks in grapevine and the prices here typically range from 570,000 to over 800,000.
Next up, we have the Trail Lake neighborhood, which is right near the Grapevine Lake. Now, this neighborhood dates uh, way back in the 1980s, and homes here typically start in the $330,000 range and go upwards to over $600,000. Yeah, so this is a well, well-established neighborhood that we have here. And this home right here that we're going to be approaching is $649,000 with four beds, four baths, and it's around 2,100 square feet. Um, almost $300 per square foot which is insane you guys I forgot to mention if you guys want your dollar to stretch then grapevine is not the area for you um, if you want to get more bang for your buck next that we have is the Carla Linda neighborhood which dates back to around the 1980s as well and prices here start from the 360 thousands and then go up from there you don't want to live here you guys if you want to stretch your dollar because if grapevine is expensive okay The majority of the older homes here are also going to be renovated as well and you know this home right here it is priced at four hundred and eighty five thousand dollars with three beds two baths and it's around thirteen hundred square feet with three hundred and sixty dollars per square foot that is no i'm sorry but that is too much and if you don't care about that then it's good for you but don't move here if you want to stretch your dollar now you guys, Grapevine, it's a nice getaway um, for folks in the Dallas-Fort Worth area without actually getting away. You know, it has the wineries, it has the entertainment, the arts, the theater. It has activities for the kids, both indoors and outdoors. They have miles of trails, biking and hiking. You can play sports outside. Plethora of restaurants to satisfy every appetite you know so if you want to live in a city that offers traits of a bigger city yet still have that quieter suburban feel then this is a place for you <laughs> people love grapevine you guys and you know i can honestly see why because it's just an amazing city i was personally amazed by it you know i've been to grapevine a couple of times and you know even when i was recording uh this tour for you guys just like wow like i would i would consider living in grapevine but one thing i must say is that you're right next to the uh international airport i mean i mean a portion of the airport goes into grapevine but the thing is that you will see planes above your head all day long okay even when i was there i mean that was something like oh it's kind of cool yeah so there's not really many cons there except for in the summer it just gets really brutal um like july august you guys sometimes the temperatures stay in like 100 degrees uh fahrenheit but be warned don't think that we have crucial heat here that we don't have other seasons we have all four seasons in one week okay yeah a month or two ago we had sleep we had a tornado warning hail and then we had like a sunny sunny day all in one week you guys it does not get any bipolar than this so i must warn you if you're coming out of state be prepared for that bipolar weather okay overall you guys i personally really liked grapevine there's not many cons to grapevine um i feel like it's a really uh, amazing place to live in if you want to be near everything that's happening you want to be near all those activities that i mentioned you know you always want something new you're a person that likes adventure then grapevine is definitely a place for you especially if you're a family that has kids because there's tons and tons to do for kids they'll never get bored and you know kids need to leave the house because they will just eat your brains if you keep them in the house for too long and a nice place for you to unwind and you guys that's it for this video and if i missed anything about grapevine that you want to add please leave it in the comment box below if you guys want me to do other areas you can also leave that in the comments and let me know your thoughts about this video and also make sure to hit the like and hit the subscribe if you guys want more content from me that really motivates me to make more content for you guys and make sure to check out my other videos as well because i go around other suburbs as well and share what it's like living there and don't forget to contact me you guys with your buying and selling needs or if you need help or have any questions you know you can just give me a call you can text me whatever you're comfortable with i'll be more than happy to help you guys thank you for watching my video and i better see you in my next video